Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve, and this is my boy, Honey. Let's do a quick review of this Jack Daniel 10 year old whiskey coming in at 48.5% alcohol and 97 proof. It's brand new for 2023, it's batch two. Uh, they had the batch one last year in 2022, which was super popular. So we'll open this bottle up, we'll see how it tastes, and uh, I'll give you my recommendation at the end. So let's get right to it. All right, well, little background on Jack Daniels. They're usually known for their old number seven whiskey, right? The old number seven that you mix for the Jack and Coke, right? Jack and Coca-Cola, Jack and Diet, or whatever you like to mix with. In recent years, I know they've been coming out with more premium versions of their whiskey, right? They got the Gentleman Jack, they got the Single Barrel, like they got the Rye, um, but, but they never really hit the notes with some of these whiskey snobs, premium whiskey drinkers. In 2022, they started coming out with this limited edition age statement on the front, 10 year old whiskey. It was on a lot of people's, a lot of whiskey reviewers and a lot of experts, top 10 whiskey of the year for 2022. So super popular, super uh, well-loved, highly allocated. So it was only, I believe in last year, there was only 200 barrels or something like that that were made. Let me open it. And new for 2023, they have also come out with the 12 year whiskey. So that's supposed to be much better than this one too. Uh, but that's almost impossible to find. 10 year old is already hard to find. The MSRP on this guy is 70 or $80. I got it for $77 at the local grocery market, if you could believe it or not. And, uh, but on the secondary or on internet, you can find it for $300 or $400. Again, this is the batch two. Uh, 10 year old whiskey, 48.5% alcohol and 97 proof. Let's go for the nose. Very oak forward and it's sweet too. Very sweet too, like light sugar, like not brown sugar, but like white sugar. Vanilla-ish on the nose, but it's very gentle, very mellow. Maybe a little fruity, but definitely oak, some sugary notes and some fruit, so. Let's go for a taste. Cheers. Yeah, definitely. You could tell right away it's a pretty well-aged whiskey. You don't taste like the young, like immatureness of a more younger whiskey. The flavors are pretty deep and very broad and deep, well-rounded. The oak forwardness transfers right to the palate. Right away I could taste the oak. A very good foundation on the oak. Sweet, it's not as sweet as I thought. I'm gonna go for a second sip. Now I taste the sweets. Like, very bready. Like a like banana bready. With like sprinkles of nutmeg and, and cinnamon. Yeah, like bready, very bready. Again, the flavors are very well-rounded. You can tell it's been in there for 10 years for sure. Let's go for another sip. There is a slight bitterness right at the tip, right, right when it hits the, your tongue. That oakiness, that aged oakiness is very prominent and it's very dominant in here, but it's not like a like super charred oak. It's not all encompassing. It's, it's, it's like a good foundation, very foundation. It just lays the foundation for the flavors to come out, the bready notes, the spices, maybe some apples at the end. But it's medium sweet. It's not, it, I've tasted a lot of other more sweeter whiskey than this. It's, it's sweetness is there. Sweet is more like a secondary taste coming through. The mouthfeel is excellent. It's very Cody. It's not the most Cody-ness, but it's pretty Cody. Again, I would have to say the oak is the sweet oak. That is the main character in here for sure. Very deep, very well-rounded sweetness, not overpowering, just a light sweetness that covers the oakiness. A little buttery towards the end. I can taste the butter. Oak, bready, and buttery, slight sweetness. Um, and a medium mouthfeel. So, pretty good, pretty good. This 10 year old, um, you know, I really liked it. I thought it was really, definitely solid. I didn't really have that much expectations on it because I never, I didn't taste the batch one. 
and I've heard a lot of good things about it ever since you know 2022. So I was able to pick this up uh, recently, and now that I taste it, it's definitely good, definitely deep in its flavor. If you like that oak forwardness, if you like that breadiness, it's definitely a bottle to pick up. All right, that's my review of the Jack Daniel 10 year old whiskey. Do I recommend it? Definitely a recommend uh, at MSRP. Definitely a recommend at MSRP at retail price if you're able to find it. Uh, anything over $100 though, I would think twice uh, before getting it. It's a good whiskey, but with the price tag above over $100, I don't think I can recommend that. For 12 year whiskey, I heard it's even better than this, so we'll. Well, stay tuned for that one if I can find a bottle for that and I'll put up a review here. But for 10 year old whiskey, definitely worth $70, probably not worth anything more than 100. So there you have it guys, that's my recommendation. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for joining me. If you get a chance, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, let me know what you think of the, the 10 year old whiskey. If you had it before, let me know what you think. Is it worth the price or if you paid a lot more than MSRP, is it worth that much more? But otherwise, have a good one, have a good day, and have a good week, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.